This has been one long recording for one long campaign. So, round 20. At this point, we've uh, conquered Rome, started pushing to France, encircled Romania, which is about to get destroyed by the... Uh, um, well, they're not going to get destroyed. It looks like Germany reinforced it a little bit more. We'll see how this plays out, but I'm thinking at this point, we just have to crush this, these towns here. And then this is basically open theater to us. I don't think this, this is going to go long, much longer than five more turns. Even though I just said it, it that five turns ago, but I don't think it'll take that much longer to take out the rest of the um, Axis powers at this point. All right, we lost our guy here. Lost a few guys over the place there, that's fine. That actually forced the uh, Germans to actually send their, you know, fighters all over the place there. Place, 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 place. And it's going to move those two guys back and forth from that transport. And we'll wait while they purchase their units. And they purchase their stuff. Warzaza is over there, it's been encircled, but that's mostly defensive units they've got sitting in there, so I'm not really, uh... Really not too concerned about them really doing anything with them, the, uh... Germans, or that one lone little, uh, Romanian up there. For the most part, we're just waiting for, like, the Russians to sort of push in from the, uh... The east over there, while we sort of push in on the other guys from the west. We'll just crush the guys in Romania and then start pushing out. He's going to attack me with whatever he can muster for obvious reasons in Roma. Uh, attackers fire, Americans please select four casualties. We're gonna lose... Yeah, we'll lose all them. We could kill a bunch of our infantry. Lose those guys. Where is this? I'm losing... Oh yeah, this is Rome. So he reconquered his capital, the, Ro the Romans. They're the Italians, rather. He's probably a little bit uh, concerned I took his capital there, but whatever. Look like he's making a little bit of a stand there. So I got kicked out of there, but that's that's more or less fine. I actually delayed the Italians from building for an entire turn just by taking it once, their capital. Um, so yeah, I don't really mind if, they, uh, if that happens, really. Um, I'm thinking if I could possibly take this, start sending stuff out there, but I don't think the Americans have enough forces really to do that. So let's probably leave those American forces right there. Um, I guess we're just going to focus on taking up over there. And over there a little bit what, what force I've got, but we're gonna focus basically on taking out the Roman the Romanians. Defeat them. Defeat them with everything I can muster.
I hope this is enough to take him out. So if I can do, I guess in the meantime. We just drive him madly through the territory, capture a little bit more. That's at least five uh, points for him. And all right, well let's just uh, do the battle calculator here. So calculate odds. It looks like I have more unit value than him, so I I think we're gonna win with regardless of what he has to offer. So. I think we'll take that. All right, over here. Um, three of those guys, two of this guy, that guy. Oh, not a whole lot I can do with these guys. They might be able to take out these elites here. The odds aren't that great, but I might be able to do it. No, well, I guess the odds are good, but... I guess that's what we'll do with them. So we'll do that. Done. I have lots of points to build stuff with. Um, what I might do is build a, a you know st factory down here to start ferrying stuff out this way. Or I could do it in Serbia. Might be worth doing it there. So yeah, I'm thinking we'll build. A factory for Tripoli. It might be worth doing that in Serbia too, but yeah, it's worth doing in Serbia too. Why not? I got the points. It'll make it easier to start, you know, building stuff over here for me. Um, I could build one in East Romania. Why not? We'll do that too. I'm not really too threatened by German aircraft anymore, but it doesn't mean I want to, you know, underestimate its power. We're going to go with, I guess, two big armors. Two big armors and two mech infantry over here. Or maybe not. We're not going to build this. We're, we are going to build these. One, two, three, four. But we're going to build one, two, three, four in Tunis. We're going to build these four actually here in uh, Morocco. And we're going to ferry them over just by driving. Because that makes sense, I think. And then I can start building stuff over here some more. Um, Greece, you can build one, two, three, four, five. I can build. And Izmir will build three bombers, and then we'll build two infantry here in Ankara. It's all that. Big, massive uh, purchase for colonial France. All right, let's go with uh, West Romania and try and take out this capital. So, A, Kaz has only hit one. That's fine. I decimate a bunch of his guys, 28 hits. He hits me back quite a few times. Actually, we're going to lose these guys. I don't mind losing... Um, well, I don't want to lose all of them, but I want to lose some of those. Um, our cars... They aren't that useful, so we can lose some of them. Lose this tank. And we'll lose one of the elites. No, we'll not lose these. We'll lose one of these guys. Remain. Crush the rest of them. Eight more casualties. Lose a couple of those guys. And do that. One moment. I believe someone's calling us, so... Alright, we're back. Alright, let's see here. So, we're going to lose a bit more of these guys. And the Romanians have been conquered. 
Like they couldn't stand up against the colonial French. Over here, we're just gonna take out this small little group of elites. Two hits. He shoots at us twice, we're gonna lose two of those guys. Do I wanna lose those guys though? I think I'd rather lose um, those guys perhaps. And then we'll remain. Kill one of those, they get another hit, they're gonna kill off. This gun maybe to kill off the artillery. Remain, kill him. He gets another hit, we'll kill off one of them. I don't have a whole lot left there, but I mean, they might be able to, to, to run around and possibly be useful on offense and defense against like one or two troops. Um, so, not a whole lot to do non combat wise. Um, I guess we can move one of these. We just conquer that. We can move this guy here. Um, this guy here. I guess that's pretty much all I really want to do. So, yeah, we're pretty much done. Except that these guys have to get moved, don't they? Alright, well, we take out um, Romanians. We don't have to worry about them. And Colonial French are going to build one factory here. Serbia. And apparently I got another factory to build somewhere. Where did I plan to put that one? Um, did I want to do it in like East Romania, was it? You know, I'm actually wondering if I should put it maybe in another place. One place I might want to put it is like here on like the, the coast. Albania or Bosnia. Yeah, we'll put it there, why not? That's even farther out than Serbia, but whatever. Um, I want to build... What do I want to build all over the place? I want to build five guys here. Do I right? No. Go down here first. I want to build four of these guys here. Build four of these guys here. Right. Build those guys there. Then I want to build... Five guys here. Max, Max, and we're getting pretty damn powerful because we obviously got his person units this time around. Getting all the person units with the French, um, the French uh, colonials. Pick up lots of territories too. He's building up a nice naval fleet, finally. Now all the German fires have mostly been destroyed. That's one guy, one Romanian guy, that's uh, triggering that. Much like with the French, with just one guy constantly triggering their turn. They, you know, one guy is all it takes, or then they get a turn. Um, combat move. That's a damn lot of uh, resistance. If I was to try hitting them with everything that's in range, literally, everything that I could, make sure I'm uh, attacking, by the way, just to make sure of that. So, if I was to do that, I would have a lot more power, but what type of uh, damage would I be uh, looking at here from the Italians? Oh, that's not too bad. I, I, I could possibly live with that. We could possibly go with that. So yeah, we're going to um, send all our guys to smash out the uh, Italians right there. Seems like a good idea. Um, these guys could just go back to the guy in the French. 
and I think that's going to be our move, more or less. So, done. And uh, I want to build maybe in our infantry. We'll build one, two, three, four, five, six for those infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the way over there, of course. And then over here, Barcelona, you're going to build something. Um, one, three. So that's what they're building. So done. And it's Battle in Marseille. He shot down at B29 and several fighters. By shot down. Massive forces. 44 hits. He, on the other hand, got 18, so I'm going to lose at least that many um, infantry. Um, yeah, we're going to lose all 18 infantry, I think. We're going to remain. Smash out the rest of them. He's going to get another 5 hits. So, that's done. Pretty much, um, just from that blow, Italy lost almost all its uh, unit value. Because that was like over, um, what, maybe four-fifths of his army? Right in that little space, so he's lost all that. The, um, the Germans are fairly, spread fairly thin too. I might um, aim to liberate Paris pretty quick, or I might go down here to Rome with the uh, American troops I've got. Maybe I'll go up to Paris, though, just, just to get them liberated so we can see them in action a little bit and send this guy up to Rome. Non-combat move, I have to move uh, the jets a little bit, so that'll help be done. Um, you'll go this way. One of these guys will go up there just to prevent the tank or anything else, I guess, from interfering if they were going to do that. Um, these guys go up there. Actually, there's a turn to attack from over there. You can go this way. We're going to send all those tanks up there. All these guys there. And you there. And they've already moved. And we're going to be pretty happy, I think, with that amount of movement. So done. We're just going to build most of these guys over here. Of course, I built a bunch of artillery over when I needed, but whatever. They'll carry those guys across. I guess I'll build um, the artillery first, I guess, right there. Do everything else right here. And there. And I'll be my turn. So done. And that's the start of round 21. Pretty much at this, it's like, you know, it's already the start of the end. Of course, my, that's pretty much the purpose of this episode. It is the end. Looks like the Germans are going to use their uh, MOT infantry as uh, assault troops to soak up punishment from the Russians there. And here we go. So, they took Serbia from me. The Germans, apparently. I figured it'd be the Italians that'd be doing that, but whatever. At this point, it's pretty much just clean up. There's uh, Russians cleaning up that little territory. They're going to start saying dies toward Germany.
and we'll wait for the purchaser units. Nice long wait. The last Romania has fallen. There is no more Romanians on the on the board. So that's good. Massive Russian forces are grouping up to, uh, you know, do the Russian. Hey, look at that. He dropped two guys off from that transport again. Yep, he conquered there. So that's what I expected the Italians would do. He's also attacking me, uh, the Americans down there, apparently. move one of which is, in, is this you go over there and uh, that's that for down there you can go over here too all right well I have to claim these territories obviously because uh, son decided to take them from me um, one two three four five six seven So that's their move, going that way. Uh, these guys over here, they can march in there. Wait, I don't want to send the fighters, do I? That's an AA gun. No point risking them for that little fight. We'll send those guys like that. Hmm. You know, I'm actually tempted to... Uh, Move these guys back. Well, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. I was thinking about sending them one, two, three that way to hate Austria. It's not a really big deal to not be able to take that. These guys can just go. In this way. I can probably send... Well, I can probably send, you know, two of these guys this way. Those guys can help out. Send the army card that way. You'll go this way. You can go... Bomb them. Bomb them. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Where are you gonna go? Sure not. Let's just go attack him as well with the air aircraft. So that guy's very, very dead. Um, it's perfect. We're gonna send all the tanks this way. So that's just you know taking a good swath of that mouth territory right there. Over here. What am I thinking? I'm thinking, you know, I could, you know, use these guys to try and pick up some more territories. Go like this. This guy 
could go like this. Yep. Liberating war large swaths of, uh, of France with Blitzkrieg action. So that'll be fun. We'll do all that. Alright, so that's a lot of, uh, you know, Blitzkrieging and all that. Let's uh, decide what I'm going to do here. So I lost, you know, both these initiatives I placed, which kind of sucks. But no real big deal. Down in Tunisia, we're going to build two infantry. And two big armors. In Tripoli, in Tripoli, I can build... I'm going to build aircraft in Tripoli. So, one, two, three. In Greece, we'll build bombers. That will be what we'll be building. So, done. And let's get these battles underway. Serbia. East, East Czechoslovakia. Bosnia. So I take all that back. Uh, these guys can, I guess, discourage attacks by seeing right there. You know, it's funny, but the colonial French probably gained the most um, production value of any of you know anyone in this game. Little colonial France. All right. Well, they're done. Probably should move the AA, but I really don't really care at this point. Uh, down here, big armors, infantry, fighters, and bombers. So there's Colonials French out of the way. The British take their move. Gonna join in the action, Britain. Apparently, Romania apparently had a turn somewhere. Maybe there's still a Romanian unit somewhere that I missed. I think we got them all, though. Well, let's see here. Combat move. Um, yeah, I took large fossil land. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. They're all going to go there. I should probably do something about Geneva. Geneva. Genova. General? I don't really think about hitting up there, though. What have I got here that I could hit that with? I've got probably enough, actually, to uh, liberate France. So if I send all those guys and all these guys... That should be able to uh, liberate them and protect them enough. These guys can just uh, march up a little bit. March them up there, I guess. And there. March those guys ahead. You can go there. And we can, we'll go up there. And here. We can move all those guys right there. I haven't really got any troops, but I do have artillery, so I can sac sacrifice some of them, right, to uh, be beat down. I do have infantry, apparently. Beat down. The force is basically... I'm going to use artillery as infantry at this point.
We're gonna go that way. And that's pretty much gonna be the American turn. So let's see how this goes. Done. One my bye. It's a very slow advance with the Americans. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy mech infantry. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll buy one of these guys. Two of these guys. And two bombers. We will build all that for use. All right, Ballinger Nova. We're gonna kill my artillery. Remain. Kill some more artillery. At Montepeller, you kill the infantry, their infantry, Paris, they shoot down a bomber, you smash them a little bit, they kill a bunch of my forces, remain, kill the rest, and we match to liberate Paris, one of us going to revert to uh, French now. Current owner is French. I guess it'll, it'll convert soon. Battle million. We crushed them there. All right, these guys have to. Uh, where am I going to move these guys? Maybe we'll move them. I guess we'll just move them here. And all these guys in here. Go down there too, I guess. So to you guys. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to move these guys, so I'll move them now. Move them there. And done. I will place one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And the guy's in Portugal. Alright, so... Honorable victory. So all you have to do is capture seven places to win. Do you want to continue? No. So, that's pretty much New World Order. It's a very long game to say the least basically took me um i don't know how long it's been but it's taking like five episodes to uh cover all of this of this uh game and i assume i don't split up my episodes because some are really long episodes over an hour um but anyhow if you're looking for like a longer type of game and um i guess one that sort of like includes a little bit more factions and stuff like that this is a fairly good example for um an axis and allies type of map Personally, I think this is a little bit too big. I mean, it's, good, it's great to have that many factions and all that, and I assume it'd be fun, but it'd take forever to play, especially if players. I'm, I'm much more prefer like a, a really big world, for example. Anyhow, hope you've enjoyed, and um, perhaps in the future I might do some more AAA if, if more World War II maps come out. I may also do um, the non-World War II type of uh, maps. I do have a few of those. But for now, take care. Hope you've enjoyed.